What's up, Scorpio, kings, queens, and everything in between? I am Austria of Another Queen, and today I will be channeling the collective of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury in regards to love for those of you that are in separation or no contact. have trust here this situation is calling for you to have um, faith so in the past I'm definitely getting the sense that you could have possibly found it very hard to trust this person um, this person could have possibly done stuff in the past that made it very difficult for you to trust them I'm also getting a sense of um, they could have done like something behind your back in the past and it caused you to basically lose faith in the relationship or lose faith in the connection here yeah well obviously <laughs> underlying message separation here time apart from your partners on the horizon like duh okay not being disrespectful spirit just saying all right so um, we have soulmate here in the reverse. Yes, this is your soulmate. In the present moment, a lot of you guys have gone on outside of this relationship and moved on to somebody else. That is not um, meant for you. This person is a karmic here. Um, for others, it's a sense of letting you know that you're kind of fighting the connection of you and this person that you are in a um, in separation with right now. Um, I'm here keeping my head above water, not really wanting to show emotion or act like it's phasing you that you and this person is not to, are not together. Or this could be your person's energy, seeing how this is mutual. We also have wedding here. Um, this situation involves marriage, and this is in the reverse here as well. Again, back to that karmic energy, obviously, but also in the sense of not wanting uh, to commit here in the near future or someone. Um, I'm hearing really, it's something about pushing. Okay, don't feel like you have to push a relationship forward. If somebody don't want to be with you, they don't want to be with you. Um, and it's no need for you to keep on trying to do that. Especially for those of you that feel like um, you're at a certain age or you feel like you should be married or certain things should be happening in regards to commitment. Don't put all of that pressure on your person here. Okay. So you're telling me that y'all get it. Okay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and um, see if we can get some more information here from Spirit. strike here i have been swept off my feet random unexpected amazing okay so for a lot of you you could have been dealing with someone who felt like they had found the one outside of your commitment here or if you um for some of you it was even an issue of uh like they swept you off of your feet in the past here I'm really getting a strong sense of like some type of karmic energy though here. All right, we have empty stage here. I feel empty without you. You're the spotlight of my heart. Yeah, but I feel like some of you, because this is also mutual energy, either you or your person is not being open and honest about feeling that way. We have children here. Our um, children are important to me and that's um, affecting our connection. Um, some of you could be dealing with someone that has children with another person or someone that wants children or doesn't want children. That could be also your energy there as well. 
all right making an effort i'm willing to put in the work to have our happily ever after you could have felt like this person wasn't really making a connect uh, effort in the connection here um i'm hearing not wanting to take you out on dates and, and do fun stuff like that um main woman here nobody else has my attention you're the only one that i want here and again, this is a, a energy of, well, if it's a main woman, then it got to be a, a other woman. And this doesn't, it's not gender specific. It could be main male too. Inner conflict. My world is chaotic right now. Can't seem to think straight. Yeah. You could also feel like a lot of you guys could feel like this person is possibly um, childish here. Or like their solutions are child. Yeah, see, player. I've been playing the field and I'm not ready to settle down. Yeah. So it's like this person played, <laughs> this person played with the wrong one. Like I'm definitely getting a sense of you're already in the process of moving on or feeling like, you know, it's kind of like I'm going to, I'm going to push through is what I'm hearing. And this is for the fourth week of May through the fourth week of June. But, you know, whenever you see this message, that's when you're meant to see it here. All right, we have the Six of Pentacles here, the Page of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. Yeah, so you didn't feel like this person was really given to this connection. You could have been dealing with a Taurus here, a possibly Taurus Capricorn Virgo, but you didn't really feel like this person was given as much to the connection as you were in the past here. You could have felt like this person was breadcrumbing you. Again, in that energy of feeling like this person was possibly childish here, wasn't really offering you much um, as in regards to, to this connection or this commitment um also in the sense of you know this person possibly being very stubborn and, and how and it's like my way or the highway wanting you to feel like okay i can think i can do what you want me to do now this is crazy so we have the page of wands here right and then it's like you see that's the same picture like i don't know how these people be making their cards but it's the same picture right that's giving me even more like this person childish as fuck <laughs> this person real childish in the way that they communicate in the way that they make decisions and they could have been possibly choosing between you or another and another person here and i don't oh no this is is this the same let me see yeah this is the same um this deck is by the same person and i'm like okay now It's like this person is having a problem making you their main person or something like that. But it's like, without you, they're very hurt here. But it's like I said before, it's like somebody is not wanting to uh, give in to this connection. The Magician card, the World card, and the Seven of Pentacles here. Yeah, so magician aries gemini energy here um definitely a sense of this person um could have been very manipulative in the past here um wanting to have things their way but now they're feeling uh, in a space that you know they they know they've been dishonest and shit like that but now they feel kind of like powerless here because it's like something ended and you could have possibly ended it with this person it was like no i'm not moving forward with you or vice versa here and it's like now this person is in a space of wanting to try to get you back all over again and act like they were ready to be dedicated to you this is definitely in the sense of wanting to start manifesting this relationship to want to get to transform the new heights here because it's like something ended here but they're still holding on to this um they are very guarded with their emotions here but they do want to move forward with this death card scorpio energy here and it looks like you know this could have possibly needed to happen in order for you guys to be on the same page moving forward um with that death card like all endings bring new beginnings type of energy there three of pentacles five of cups and the queen of cups okay the queen of cups is um cancer's energy as well as gemini some of you guys are definitely dealing with a gemini here 
um we definitely have the energy of you know this person wanting to come back yeah see they're wanting to reveal how they really feel about you with the moon card cancer pisces energy wanted to reveal how they feel about you wanted to give you that title with that eight of with the eight of pentacles there wanting to recognize this union and wanting to move forward here um the three of pentacles and the five of cups with the queen of cups definitely is sense of you know this person feels like they fucked up when they when they stopped dealing with you they feel like they really messed up and now they're re they're ready to mature and offer you the love that you deserve here because it's like you're not accepting anything other than that it's definitely a sense of, you know, they're, they're wanting to come back and figure out how they can make this work because they feel like the, it's, it's like this empty space here. This is this is like legit how they feel when they're not with you or when you guys are not um, on good terms or talking or whatever. And they, they don't they don't want that shit. And granted, this could be your energy as well, but I'm not really um, not. Shoot. Okay. Alright, you guys, I gotta get this card that really wanted to jump all the way with the go. Alright. <laughs> you know what's so funny? Spirit really just be wanting to like give y'all clarification a lot because like I I always change up how I do my things depending on like what downloads I get, how I do my spreads, and spirit, like, listen, look, I can't make this shit up. <laughs> okay, this is the Six of Pentacles, and now I said that they wasn't really giving to you, and spirit wanted to, like, put a, that's basically an exclamation point on that shit. Like, I said what the fuck I said, they was taking advantage of you, they wasn't doing what the fuck they needed to do in this relationship, um, it definitely wasn't equal, so you had to, you know, move the fuck around. Um, the Nine of Cups here. They always knew that you were their soulmate, but it's like they're fighting that connection. So since they knew that they um, that they do have a certain level of emotional attachment to you, they do offer you something, but not much. You know what I'm saying? We got the the Star card here. Um, Aquarius is energy. It's definitely a sense of this person. Okay, so they they didn't really want a commitment, right? Is what I'm really getting here. They didn't really want a commitment. They didn't really want. Yeah, see, five of five of fucking uh, wands here, and the the king of wands. And the seven of pentacles in the reverse here. That's all about, um, you know, <laughs> wasted effort, not, you know, lack of ambition. Yeah, they didn't really want a commitment here. They, but, but the way that they feel about you, they know that they can't move forward without one. So, <laughs> it's like, okay, so if I can't, do, you know, what else can I do but give you a commitment if, that's all that you're accepting <laughs> and I want you so that's the energy that I'm getting like if I want you then I have to be in this commitment with you and I'm sorry you guys if you guys hear that fan but it's hot as hell so yeah if I want this commitment with you that's what I have to do I mean if I want to be with you in any capacity I have to give you a commitment so yeah we got the knight of swords here Aquarius's energy as well as well as um as well as Capricorn. So yeah, it's like they're finding it very hard to step up to the plate and come in and talk to you and do anything. It's like they're very, um, they don't know how to come towards you now. Um, because like a lot of you guys, yeah, <laughs> a lot of you guys said fuck this shit, right? And since you're worried about yourself and you are thinking about what you really want and kind of releasing this and not accepting any bullshit they don't really know how to come towards you with this stable offer here king of pentacles virgo energy as well as leo they don't know how to really come towards you and offer you this 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 stable offer here because they feel like in the past they probably they were really like arrogant 
um definitely a sense of like really being um uh, not close fist but i guess close fist like really not showing their emotions more so on like a practical like yeah i care about you but they do it in like practical ways not really emotional ways is what i'm hearing All right, we have the Five of Cups here again. Now we got the Five of Cups twice, y'all. Five of Cups twice in the near future. Yeah, they want to work shit out because, like I said, they regret what the fuck they did. Now they want to come back. The, um, yeah, shit. Motherfucker, they lonely without you, Virgo, in the reverse with the Hermit card. Lonely as fuck here. But they're also stubborn as fuck. So this may take a while for this to come into fruition. Like I said, somebody don't want um, to be open about this. But look, they're going to have to be. Because showing you how they really feel about you with that Queen of Cups energy and maturing the fuck up, that's the only way that they're going to find happiness. With the world card there. That's the only fucking way they're going to get what they want and they know it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because they're unhappy as hell. Page of Cups here with the sun in the reverse. They're unhappy as hell. They're wanting to offer you some type of forgiveness here. You're looking good as fuck by yourself with that nine of pentacles. Yeah, look. Yep. Definitely. Look, definitely getting that energy there. All right. For those of you that need that clarification, Spirit's going to go ahead and give you those signs that you can possibly dealing with now i do ask spirit for sun moon rising venus and mercury so um it could be in those signs that you shall know if this resonates with you please be sure to like share comment and subscribe thank you so much all right we have jupiter here sagittarius is energy we have pluto here and that is Scorpio's energy here. You could be dealing with another Scorpio. If you are, that Scorpio could possibly be a, I'm hearing Twin Flame or a, a Karmic there. Um, water energy, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And then we have Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo at the back there, okay? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Um, again, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. And I send it back to you guys tenfold. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.